Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, not your average noob, and we are coming back to you guys with a brand new spawn PK video. So today I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about pure PKing. Unfortunately, it's not very active on spawn PK, but I have a few solutions that might make it a little bit more popular. As you guys already know, there is the pure 1, pure 2, pure 3, and pure 4 achievements, which involve getting player kills with the defense level of 1 and a minimum combat level of 80. These things give really, really good rewards, and you can sell it for a lot of money open it up for the best items in the game. Lots of people complete this task and then they stop pure PKing on spawn PK in general. But I think the one thing people miss out on a lot is that you actually have a random chance to receive blood diamonds and blood shards when you're pure PKing in Edgeville and you also receive bonus blood money for each kill that you get as a pure. So I'm not really sure why pure PKing is not doing so hot on spawn PK but I have a theory. I'm assuming it's the players that come out in defense levels and prodding the most overpowered gear in the game and bullying the peers is the reason why this is not very active. So I came up with a solution for this. I'm thinking we make a zone strictly for pure PK. PK named colon colon pure PK where players can PK at one defense and not have to worry about anybody with defense bothering them. I wouldn't add any gear restrictions to this zone simply because people like to PK with whatever items they want but I think pets would be restricted in this specific area due to the fact that mini me and doppelganger pet gives you a slight advantage over other players and after all you can always PK in the wilderness if you don't like the specific zone. On top of all the good rewards you can get from pure PK and the additional blood money and the blood diamond chance I have a feeling we should add more incentives for pure PKing to keep things buzzing a little bit. So we're going to be doing a lot of pure PKing in this episode, but before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know I will be giving away $150 in bonds. The first winner shall receive a $100 bond, and then the second winner shall receive both a $20 bond and a $30 bond for a grand total of $50 in bonds. If you would like to enter this giveaway, the requirements are very simple. All that I ask is that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and comment your in-game username, and if you're new, register using the link in the description so no one can steal your reward. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As usual, pure PKing is an absolute wasteland and there's nobody to fight except for PK bots at this time, so I actually have to go on yell and tell people to come at level 96 combat just so I can get some pure fights in. Alright, good luck to X Brittany X. This is going to be our first fight. Hopefully everything works out well for us. It's a nice 20 with the dragon knives, followed by a crossbow into the G Mall. Oh man, she actually managed to survive that, so. I have to get a baseline weapon other than the crossbow so I can finish her off with something because as of right now I don't really have anything going for us so I might have to switch to an Ava's accumulator just so my uh, dragon knives don't uh... Wow. That's it, I'm mad. Now it's time to spice things up and show you how overpowered Pure PK can really get. We're getting out the Berserk Phoenix pet and we're also getting out the Ethereal Elder Maul, which is going to make us absolutely indestructible. And as you can see, this is the problem right here. Players in defense like to bully the peers, and this is why people don't like the Pure PK definitely a growing problem on spawn PK and hopefully that gets worked on. I think it's also important to note that the incentives for pure PKing in this new zone have to be so big that people want to participate or else it's going to easily die off. Here's Dr. Anal. We're going to go ahead and fight this guy next. And I already had a 24, 21, and a 10, and a 13 with the Dragon Knives. This thing's going ham right now, so actually kind of impressed with it. I'm going to try out the special attack into G-Mall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I actually didn't know if that was going to work. I just kind of went for it because I see people do the Dragon Knives special attack, and I always thought it was pretty cool. All right, I will not. Let's see what you got. Good luck, man. Oh man, I'm already starting to get some good looking hits. Sebo to the G-Mall, and that's a KO. I also like pure PKing because the fights are usually very, very quick, and they uh, don't last very long. It's literally an easy way to get some blood money. FMX, alright, good luck to you, my guy. I'm loving the Sebo to G-Mall combo, but I'm definitely going to change it up after this fight. But it's so broken, oh my goodness. Yo, my Death's Accomplished perk had activated, dealing a finishing blow, yet he didn't die. I don't understand. They need to fix that. And what's with the hit splats registering extremely late? I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that was a very late registration. Oh my god, see what I mean by late registration? Both of the hits stacked at the same time, so he didn't really get a chance to out-eat it. He didn't know that kind of damage was coming at him. Alright, X Brittany X again. I still didn't get to switch my combo. I might try to um, double, double G Maul into Elder Maul. Okay, didn't even need the Elder Maul, and she's just like, what? 
This guy, bow and arrow, has defense, but he's not as bad as the other prods that I've seen. If anything, this guy would be classified as a Zerker, and max peers do fight against Zerkers, so not that big a deal. Plus, his HP is probably really low. You gotta watch out for that third age bow spam, though, I'm telling you. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Alright, it's gonna be the deciding moment coming up here real soon, boys. So, once the next big XP drop comes... Oh, got a KO. Good fight, bow and arrow. That was actually a good one. And it was pretty darn balanced, too, even though you had defense. Those kind of defense peers aren't that bad, but once you start running into the people prodding Vesta, Serp, it, it, it's just not fun. Gonna test this out on the good old PK bot 21 Cabbage, just to show you guys what you can do with the Ring of Vigor eye effect. Samurai Godsword takes up 65%, or it's like 60%, but the Ring of Vigor will only make it take out 50, meaning you can grant it maul. Oh my god, that was so fucking awesome. That was literally a perfect stack. Alright, we're in good standings right now. I'll risk it. I will. I just gotta make sure I don't get, like, PJ'd. Yeah! Good fight. Good lord, dude. The, the stacking on this game with the damage splats are so fucking awesome. It's not quite like old school RS, but it's, like, custom and different. And I actually prefer it this way. It's a lot easier to stack. Alright, Notch21222 has been waiting to fight me for ages, so we're going to go ahead and give her a fight. This is close distance, so I can use the double G maul into the uh, God Sword Whack, which I think I'm going to take advantage of. Uh-oh, that's another big weapon that you... <laughs> See, that's another weapon you want to watch out for. The Crystal Halberd is very strong. I think the last time I did a pure PKing episode, I got hit for like a 40-40. It was insane. Not to mention he had range as well, so... Oh my god, there goes an 80, I told you. That thing is like not that strong in main PKing, but you take it to peers and I swear to god, you become like fucking like the god of pure PKing with that thing. Yo, I'm not getting stacked out for an 80, I'm telling you right now, I'll be so upset. Fuck it. Oh my goodness, dude, that was so fucking clean. Yo. So the one thing I like about the Ring of Vigor Eye is that you basically get more special attack opportunities due to the fact that you don't have to use as much. So this makes the Dragon Dagger P++ absolutely insane in PKing situations because you can basically spam it all you want and wait for the big XP drop and still use the Granite Maul. Kinda grimy if you ask me, but if you take it back to like the 2007 days, that's all people did was spam the DDS, so like... Yeah, it's not too bad. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and give 21 Savage a shot, just so I can test out the DDS and prove my point. As you can see, I hit a 24, and I can just spam this thing all day long, and these guys don't really have a chance to eat through it. Whether they're pure PK bots or pure PK players, that DDS spam is pretty darn OP. Yo! Yeah, so basically the Ring of Vigor Eye with DDS is actually insane just spam it up as much as you want and basically if you get a high hit you can just use the granite maul right after using two DDS specs and I'm at 15% spec well I can still use my DDS yo see that's actually insane ring of vigor IP Kang as a pure is awesome I will say another cool thing about Pure PKing is there is a Pure PKing tournament where you can win big prizes such as a $30 bond, and that's usually where Pure PKing really comes into light, but I also hope they add Pure and Hing in the future. Not a lot of players seem to do this on Spawn PK, but it's a very fun, fast-paced style of NHing, and players need to get better at this by practicing it. But the main thing about this tournament is it's a deathmatch scenario, so in reality, yes, you can go for a double G Maul into the Obsidian Maul, but if you don't don't kill them then you have a pretty big disadvantage there that you're working with so most players tend to spam the DDS as it is a deathmatch alright boys the first round is beginning for the tournament and we got telescope as our first fight oh poor guy disconnected that actually sucks well that's an easy W I could hit him with all the fancy stuff I know but I think I'm just gonna keep it very textbook and just try to get the kill Boom! Good fight! Oh my goodness, what a stack that was. Already advancing to the next round and a fight just started. But yeah guys, that's my little rant on Pure P. Kang. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. 
I really think we should add that pure PKing zone just so peers have a peaceful place to PK and if the incentives are big enough, players will go there, trust me. Players love to make bank on this server and they're always looking for a new way to make money, so if the incentives are big enough at the pure PKing zone, it won't fail. Make sure you guys check out the new upload that's coming out right after this video. It's going to have all of the giveaway winners from the previous uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!